Well, night has come and gone and the sun, that big ball of fire, is back. Welcome to the Trucker Josh vlog page, where you can follow me and my best friend Diesel day by day as we travel across all of Canada and the United States. This is real reality TV coming at you on YouTube. Hit that subscribe button and follow our journey. bright this morning. It's winter time so the toque is on that means time to go. The toque is on the game is on. How's that sound Chevy? Lame? Lame is my middle name. That's a lie it's not actually. That'd be a lame middle name. <laughs> what? Don't look at me like that. I'm funny. Diesel, you got all kinds of stuff in your eyes. You got sleeps in your eyes. How you doing there, buddy? Oh yeah, both of them ate their food so well this morning. I found this magnificent trick to get Chevy to eat. See if I can block the sun from you. There we go. To get Chevy to eat, take some banana, just a little bit, and put it in his food. He loves bananas. Put it in there and he eats everything. Such a good boy. Good boy. Ate your whole food bowl. Right out of the bowl, not even off the floor. Good boy. I love bananas, man. Let's do this. We've got one box or one crate to deliver to this first customer, and then we have one more crate to deliver to the second customer on the north end of Calgary. The first one's on the southeast side. And after that, the rest of the entire load is going to Surrey, British Columbia. All right, let's give her. This on-ramp was built so you can gather speed, you know? It's not meant so you can putt onto the highway at 40 kilometers an hour. Give her. What a beautiful day. You can see the Rocky Mountains over there already. Excuse me, Trucker Josh. Entering the highway, excuse me. Precious cargo right here. Got my boys. And something on the trailer in the back. I don't know. I guess that too. That was beautiful. Diesel, did you see that? Flawless entry onto the highway. That was a good start to the day. That's the way I like to start the day. So we're between Strathmore, Alberta and Calgary right now. Uh, just stopped at that way station for the night. I don't like stopping at way stations for the night, but it was late and I was running out of hours. Chevy, is this your first time to Calgary? Your very first time. This is my favorite Canadian city. I like it. Traffic, traffic, traffic. I want to get my box off my trailer. One crate, and I talked to the guy there and he said something about that they want to take the crate apart and get it off the trailer one piece at a time. I have no idea what he meant by that. Uh, usually you just take the whole box at once, but the box is a thousand pounds, so maybe they don't have a forklift today. I don't know. I mean, a forklift or a boom truck or something would make it a lot easier, but if they don't have that there, well, I guess we're doing it the hard way in the cold. I need to be in that lane. So I have delivered both my Calgary deliveries. Now we're on our way to Surrey. Turn left on Barlow Trail Northeast. About 985 kilometers, about 600 miles. I'm hoping to get to Hope, BC tonight 
and sleep there at the Flying J. I'd like to make use of their showers and Wi-Fi. Hopefully there's no bad weather in the mountains. Just arrived to the Petra Pass near uh, Cochrane, Alberta. Let me mount you in here. Oh, there you go. There you go. Now uh, we're gonna fill it up with fuel in Alberta because fuel is way cheaper on the prairies in Alberta than it is in tax happy British Columbia. All right, Chevy, diesel, come on, get out there. Fuel's not gonna pump itself. I'll wait here. What do you mean you don't have thumbs? Oh fine, I'll go pump it then. But you owe me, all right? You owe me. It was your turn. It's been your turn for a while. <laughs> you gotta earn your keep in the truck, Chevy. You could just pay me in, uh, pay me in hugs later, I guess. I'll be okay with that. All right, so let's get ourselves all bundled up here it's a little chilly not too bad though it was freezing last night it was minus 20 celsius last night on the other side of calgary Whew! after not feeling that for like about 10 months it feels a little nipply right. and it just came out of nowhere too because like i blew the tire last yesterday evening right probably around eight o'clock and by 10 o'clock i was fixed and ready to go and when we were switching the tire over, when the guy was switching the tire over, it was like minus five out. And then suddenly I go an hour down the road and it was minus 20. It just swooped in like a cold devil. Right? Oh, I got a phone call coming in here. We got all the juice we need. I've already had my coffee, so I'm good to go for a while yet. Probably till we get to Golden. Go to the mountains. Let's hope and pray that there is no bad weather up at the top of those things. Really, really don't want to go through a bad snowstorm. It looks like it's clear skies here, right? But that can change quickly once you get in there. All oh, these drivers, you're seriously gonna lose a truck in one of these potholes one of these days. All right, buddy, come on. There you go, you have a whole other lane to use. There you go, he figured it out.
Who just ate all his food? All his food, Chevy. Chevy, yeah, don't be shy. It was me. I did it. Good boy. So the trick is, add a little bit of banana in with his food. Give it a little bit of a banana flavor, because apparently this guy likes bananas. And Diesel, all by himself, ate his whole bowl too. Good boys. I'm happy to see my boys eating. You're going to be so strong, Chevy. Chevy, you got to stay on here for a bit. Stop trying to get down. I'm trying to film you. I'm trying to put you on the vlog, man. Just sit up. Come on, sit like a normal dog. There you go. As soon as I start talking, he thinks he, it's time to party. All right? Is it time to party every time I talk? You just have that voice, man. Just a voice that just makes you want to party. I don't think I do, but glad you think I do. Okay, so we're in, uh, where are we? Sycamus? Sycamus. Sycamus, where they're going to sick of their moose on you if you don't behave. So behave in Sycamus. Yep, that was a joke that left my mouth right there. And you chuckled at it. Don't lie. I know you did. <laughs> We're going to get all the way down to Hope, BC tonight, hopefully. And hopefully... Are you done back there? Scratchy Scratchers over here. I'm going to call you Scratchy McScratch. And hopefully when we get there, there's going to be a parking spot for us. There's only one way to find out. Let's go. I don't know what's going on here. You got this super wide load traveling down the Coquihalla at night. Two follow-up cars here, two pilot vehicles, whatever you want to call them. There's another pilot vehicle in the front of them. So there's two behind him here to make sure that I don't pass him because he's taking up the entire road right now. Are they allowed to move these things at night? I guess so, eh? In most places, you're not allowed to move loads this big at night. Maybe they're doing it at night because there's less traffic. It's hard to see in the in the lens of my camera, I know. I wonder how far they're going. I would very much like it if they'd let me past, if that's possible. But at least they're doing a decent speed. It's not like they're going super slow. I just find it really weird that they're moving such a big load at night. Look at this grain hauler. Flying J and Hope here. Look at how he's parked. See that? Took up three spots. Three spots. Oh, and he blocked in that guy. Unbelievable. Now what is this guy doing? I found a parking spot here in the back. I'm pretty happy about it. Score. But this guy's got the Super B. And he's trying to pull into a parking spot right across from me. And nose in against the grass. How is he going to straighten that thing out? He's got himself in a big pickle. He better not back into me. I've had enough of that. What is he doing? Here, take a better look at it from out here. There's no way he'll be able to get that trailer straightened out. And even if he does, his, uh, his back end is going to be hanging way out. Like, even if he does get it straightened out, he's going to be hanging way out. Making it difficult for anyone else to get out. What is he? Look at him. I know, I don't know what he's doing either, Chevy. Crazy. Did he make it? Oh, he can't really see through the glass, but... Chevy, stop whining. He'll be fine, okay? No one's going to get hurt. I just don't know how he's going to get out in the morning. He better not back up into me. Look at all these people. This is a busy place right now. He actually got in there. Whoa. Huh. That's not how I would have chosen to park, but uh, to each their own, I guess. Hey, he's got a parking spot, but he's hanging way out into the into the lane now. 
and it's gonna make it difficult for me to get out in the morning and for the two people on, on each side of me here. Unless if he leaves first, and if he leaves first, how's he gonna get out without backing into one of us over here? That guy over there is blocked in. He can't get out. His whole second trailer is sticking out into the lane. So it's gonna be very hard for this guy and this guy beside me to get out around me unless they go that way and that way, I guess. But I don't know how that guy over there is gonna get out in the morning. He's sitting in his cab right now. But why would someone park like that? Like I've nosed into spots before too. That's not the issue here. I'm not worried about him nosing into a spot, but I would never nose into a spot like that in the middle of a parking lot. Because I won't be able to get out in the morning. Yeah, he's looking at it now. <laughs> yeah, they're looking at it. He won't be able to get out. All right, Chef. You think you've had enough training? You think you can take over? All right, I'm going to bed, all right? You take the wheel. Oh, come on. I believe in you, man. I believe in you. You can do it. Don't be scared. There you go. See, you look like a natural behind the wheel. Oh, yeah. Good boy. So you drive the rest of the way. Nothing? Not very talkative, are you? How big you are. You're a massive boy. You're huge. 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 You're huge, man. Everybody loves you. You're the biggest, softest fluff ball ever. And he's perfect for hugging. He's like a big pillow. So soft. And you smell so good. Mmm. <laughs> Don't worry, Diesel. We're not forgetting about you. You're still the star of the show. We just get a little excited with a new guest, that's all. You're still the star. Look at you. You know, having this guy who is just over a year old in the truck reminds me so much of this guy seven years ago, or I guess six years ago when he was one year old. Except Diesel was a lot worse. He was a lot worse. And why is there garbage all over my truck here? Chevy. He didn't dig into it. I think he just knocked it over. You clumsy guy. You don't even know how big you are. It's okay. I'll clean it up. Don't worry. But this guy across from me, he's staying like that. He's just, he walked around his truck once, figured she was good and went to bed. So he better not back into me in the morning. I don't want to be woken up by that again. I backed in as far as I could here, and uh, I, I I really don't like parking at these truck stops anymore. I don't trust them. After you get backed into once, and it, mine, mine wasn't even that bad. I mean, it's been a lot worse. Go on like Facebook or YouTube and look up some accidents that have happened in truck stops. People are crazy. So I try to park in safe spots where stuff like that doesn't happen to me. But you're not safe anywhere. You're not safe. There's some of these drivers out here who got their license out of a cereal box. Or they just didn't get it at all. You know, if they got their license out of a cereal box, that would be an improvement. You always got to sort of park defensively. Ask my wife. She came with me for a while uh, a few years ago, and I want her to come with me again real soon. And uh, she always bugs me that it takes me forever to park. Because I'll park in one spot, I'll walk around the truck, and be like, Nope, not good enough. Pull out of the spot, go find another spot. Park again. Go around the truck. Nope, that guy might hit me in the morning. That guy's definitely going to back into me. Nope, get back in the truck, go find a different spot, park again. Nope, this spot's too noisy. The guy beside me, beside me's got a big reefer. Nope, go find another spot. It takes me forever to park sometimes because it's got to be perfect and safe. But anyways, thanks for watching. Uh, tune in tomorrow for another vlog. Tomorrow we got to unload the rest of this glass and then reload half of my load of lumber that's going back to Wisconsin. The other half we're loading in Kamloops area. Oh, excuse me. We're reloading that up on Monday and headed towards Wisconsin. So the Christmas season is getting close. I hope you guys are having a very Merry Christmas so far. And I'll see you soon.